you guys and welcome back to my channel today we are doing a get ready with me i have a very exciting event to go to today so i'm just going to show you guys the process of me doing my hair and my makeup answering some of your questions just doing this like a facetime call as you can see here i am just blow drying my hair i'm straight out of the shower i use some heat protectant and some oil that is good for blow drying for starters i love going in with this hairbrush roller there's a lot of dupes this one is from foxy bay but there's also ones by revlon that are super popular and i'm just going through and sectioning off my hair whenever that is done I'm taking my straightener and I'm just straightening the, the top pieces of my hair just so that they're a lot more straight and they don't have any curls in them you don't need to do this but this kind of erases the frizz for me after that is done you could basically leave it like this but I'm gonna go a step further and start sectioning off my hair blow drying it in an outwards direction and then grabbing hair rollers and putting them in my hair the ones that I have are just from like the drugstore they kind of have like a velcro material but I start at the top and I roll it all the way down till it reaches the root of my head and I use two little clips to clip both sides onto my scalp and I'm just doing this along my whole head usually I start with the biggest rollers on the top and then I go down to smaller rollers as I get down this is definitely a trial and error process because when I first started I could not do it I used some hairspray to secure it as well and after that was done I just left it in my hair so let's go on to makeup okay we are gonna start with the makeup tutorial this is gonna be a makeup routine get ready with me I don't do get ready with me's that often on my YouTube channel I have been doing a bunch of them on my TikTok so if you haven't followed me already make sure you do it is Fernanda Ramirez with two A's in my last name but as I said I haven't done a get ready with me on YouTube in a while so here we are we are bare face other than some lip gloss and some tinted SPF but you guys are always asking me for my product recommendations so I have all of mine in front of me and this is gonna be the makeup routine that I normally do when I'm going out out, when I'm going to a party when I'm going at night this can be your perfect holiday makeup look or you know if you just need product recommendations I got you I always switch up my skincare products and my base layer products which to be honest I probably shouldn't be doing but I just opened these YSL little packages from my advent calendar so I use these today it is the pure shots line and I honestly really liked it as for on my lips I use this Mario Badescu mask that I think is so underrated let's just dive into the makeup it is 640 I'm supposed to be there at 7 but I don't think we're gonna get there until 730 oh I also didn't tell you guys what I'm getting ready for but I have a Louis Vuitton cocktail party that sounds crazy for me to even say honestly I'm going to do a layer of the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter under my foundation first this morning me and my boyfriend went to the Louis Vuitton new store in Vancouver and it was so cool to get to go honestly I I don't think I've done an event or been invited to something that is so high fashion and I think fashion is a big passion of mine like it is just so fun I've been to so many different fashion weeks and just seeing the new collections every year there's always something to learn and I feel like you can take inspiration from it even for like my youtube channel for example like different video ideas or different ways that i want to edit my videos or different ways that i want to portray myself and how i want to dress and how i want my image to be i just think it is so fun to be in the fashion world and so i personally want to get further into it and just learn more about it so the more that I go to these fashion events I feel like the more that I learn and now that I'm going to a Louis Vuitton one I mean are you kidding me I am so excited as you can see I'm blending this all out with a beauty blender and I always switch back and forth between whether I like beauty blenders or brushes better but I think we're gonna use a brush for our foundation and so for foundation I'm gonna do a pump of this luminous silk foundation by Giorgio Armani and just a little bit of this Dior backstage foundation this one isn't really my shade but I feel like it's very high coverage so I'm just going to mix that together I'm a big high coverage girly and now that I've been more in my acne era I will be taken on the full coverage like no one's business although I know that adding too much makeup can kind of age you and that's that's not what we want here so we just have to be very careful with that just keep adding wherever I need it or wherever it's not full coverage enough I feel like whenever I do these videos it always feels like such a FaceTime call and I hope you guys feel like that too but because this is a bestie FaceTime call to give you guys a little update on my life I am good. I mean, we're going into the holiday season and I feel like I always get asked like, what are your plans for the holidays? 
and honestly my plans are to just see family see friends hang out with loved ones do my job i feel like this is the busiest time of the year just because so many sponsorships are wrapping up in fact i'm honestly kind of scared i think today's wednesday and i think all the offices close tomorrow so that is super nerve-wracking i always check on snapchat to see if my foundation is even because we do not want to have patchy face after i'm done the foundation i'm going to go in with a darker concealer to use this kind of as foundation again but go over some of my more problematic areas like for me it's kind of it's kind of my cheek right now got some there and then some on my forehead here as said i've been very busy recently so many sponsors so many work things to do but all things that i enjoy doing so no complaints here i have not made any new year's plans yet which is kind of nerve-wracking i think my friend just texted me today and asked me if i randomly wanted to go to las vegas with her and as much as i do want to do that i feel like i cannot handle a last minute trip right now okay now that the face is completed we're gonna go in with some bronzer and I have been switching up my bronzer here and there. I keep switching between the Fenty stick and this is my OG favorite. This is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer, but it's literally, that is disturbing. Why does it look like that? We may be able to use this on a brush. I think this has been a technique that has been very popular this year and that is, I think it's called underpainting, where you do your bronzer and blush before your concealer and I've been doing it for probably like a year, honestly. I think it's really changed the way my makeup looks and it looks so much better i'm just gonna put this on my cheekbone underneath here just like that and then a little bit on my jaw just so that we're chiseled and we look like we've been gua shying. i'm gonna ask you guys to ask me questions on my instagram right now to see exactly what you guys have been wondering because i could just keep talking but i don't even know what you guys want to know right now i've just asked you guys on instagram and we're gonna keep carving out the face i feel like the bronzer is one of the most time consuming parts because I just wanted to look good and glowy. I feel like a common question you guys have been asking me a bunch recently is if I'm going to make a video talking about how to glow up for 2024 and just how to evolve and how to level up and I 100% will. I actually think I started that trend, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Back in like 2021, I made a video on how to make 2021 your best year yet. And when 2022 came around, I'm telling you, everybody made that video. And so now it would almost be offensive if I didn't make that video. But every time I do make a video, I try to make it as best as I can. That when you guys ask me to like do the same video again, I'm always in a little bit of a kerfuffle. Because I'm like, how do I redo the video that I already spent so long making it as best as I possibly could? So every year I have to make it slightly different just so that it's not an exact repeat which maybe you guys wouldn't mind but i feel like i also don't want to get the comments that are like this is literally the same as your last year's video that would be my nightmare so anyways i'm going to make 2024 videos but i'm going to make them a little bit different than i have in the past maybe i don't know how to say it but like just a little bit different nothing crazy and obviously on my podcast as well i have that so i'm going to make a few episodes regarding glowing up for 2024 so be on the lookout for that if you don't already watch my podcast or you're not currently subscribed to this youtube channel we are done with bronzer we're going to go on to blush next i alternate between blushes all the time today we're going to be using this say chili dew blush and this is a gorgeous pink green blush I feel like this is the ultimate pink pilates princess dewy blush for the winter i'm going to do a few little dabs here on my cheek bones maybe a little bit on my nose here and i'm gonna use the same brush again and just kind of blend it i might have done too much but i'm gonna make sure that it's on the apples of my cheek as you can see guys my skin underneath is absolutely glowing it's like peeking through my foundation and that all has to do with skincare i feel like there's so many different skincare brands that work for under makeup but as long as your skin is looking moisture and hydrated your makeup will automatically turn better especially in the winter when your skin is dry you need to give it that extra bit of moisture and plumpness my friend Maella has really good makeup and she always talks about how she needs her face to be like wet almost with how much moisture oh my light turned off with how much moisture is on her face because it makes her makeup automatically better okay we can resume with the makeup I had to pause for a second just because my camera and everything was dying moving on I'm going to do a little bit of setting spray I love doing setting spray 
in between my makeup steps just so that my makeup stays looking fresh and glowy i'm also going to use this this is the dr dennis gross plump and repair lip treatment i'm only going to use a little bit let's do some concealer because we do need that i always use the tarte shape tape concealer you guys know that by now but she really is my favorite concealer i'm going to use my beauty blender to blend this all out i'm going to use a little bit of this mario badescu again just to kind of bring some warmth back but I think most of the warmth is going to come from our powdered products. Okay, so I'm just gonna go straight in with my powder and I used to use this triangle little puff and it worked so well. Like I'm honestly so sad that I don't currently have it, but I don't know where it is. So we're just gonna use my beauty blender. This is what I used to use and it's still good, it still works. The other one was just magnificent, honestly. I'm so excited because tomorrow I'm actually going to watch The Nutcracker with my mom and I'm definitely gonna vlog that for a different video, but that should be so exciting. I actually don't remember the last time I went. I think I went when I was like definitely in middle school or high school. So I'm really excited. And as you guys know, if you've been watching my channel, I recently signed up for ballet class. So I feel like I'll be even more intrigued now because after doing the first class, I'm like, damn, this shit's hard. So seeing them actually do the whole routine, I'm gonna be like shocked. As for other Christmassy things, I went to the Christmas market the other day with my boyfriend. Um, boyfriend! Boyfriend! Okay, the powder is all off my face. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is usually the one that I use just to bring back that warmth. Other than that, other Christmas activities I've done is I went shopping. I mean, that's not really that Christmassy, but I went shopping with my friend and all of like Robson and all of downtown is all decorated. So at least we kind of saw the lights there. And I also need to finish doing actual like Christmas shopping. I've hardly bought any presents yet, which is ironic since I'm the one that made a like 130 ideas video for Christmas presents. So I should really get on it. I feel like I've just been so busy recently. I haven't even realized that we're literally two weeks away from Christmas, which just gives me anxiety at the thought of that. I don't even know what I'm really asking myself for Christmas because even though I gave you guys so many ideas, I feel like I really already have everything that I need. So we'll see. I kind of love though not asking for anything and then getting like the most random things that are more thoughtful i'm using this lip liner but only because my lips look so pale right now i was debating getting a lip tattoo which if you haven't seen that before it's like where they tattoo your lips and it's kind of like permanent lip liner i really want to do it although my lips are already pretty pigmented and i get commented on that so i feel like having that said i shouldn't get them tinted but i just love the no makeup makeup look where they're not wearing makeup and it still looks like they have perfectly outlined lips i'm gonna use this Dior blush. I feel like this is so popular and my honest review of this is that, I mean, I really like it. I use it almost every day. So I feel like I can't really say anything other than recommend it if I use it every day, but I feel like you really need a lot of it to make an actual difference on your face. Moving on, let's get to eyebrows because I've been taking way too long yapping and I've got no tails on my brows. We're gonna use my holy grail, of course, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pen in soft brown. I haven't gotten my eyebrows laminated in a while, so they're looking a little sparse. While I do my eyebrows, I'm gonna open my friend's Snapchat videos. I swear, we send so many videos, I could honestly listen to it like a movie, and I do that, so. Okay, eyebrows are done. They are on, they're looking good. I'm using this random eyebrow gel from Pixie. I'm really not picky with eyebrow gel. I actually love the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze, but we ran out, so we use this for now. As for eyeshadow, we're gonna move on and we're gonna use the Kylie palette. I actually love this palette. I don't even know what it's called, but I do love it. It has a bunch of different neutrals and the dress that we're wearing today is black and gold. So I think we're just gonna do a very neutral look, maybe a little bit brown. I use this shadow called literally shadow from this palette. It is this one right here. And while we do that, another question you guys asked me was what my favorite songs are at the moment. And I thought I would talk about this just because Spotify Wrapped recently came out. I was not really surprised by my results at all, but I'm curious about your Spotify Wrapped as well. My top artist was actually Kali Uchis and she makes beautiful music. It's so giving feminine energy. And I actually saw her, well, actually I didn't even see her. She performed at Coachella and I was at Coachella and I didn't even watch her set, which is just kind of like offensive. How dare I not watch her set and 
her be my most listened to artist. That is, that is a flop. But anyways, she was my most listened to artist. I think second to that was like, okay, I don't remember the order, but there was Don Tolliver. Love him. He was also at Coachella and I did see him. We had Lana Del Rey on there. Lofi, I've talked about her so many times. I think it's actually pronounced like L L L L v I don't even know how to say it. Love her. As you guys know, I say this in like so many videos, but I've been in my Latin music era and I've been loving Grupo Frontera, Peso Pluma, Bad Bunny, so many more. I feel like Peso Pluma. At first I didn't really like the music. Then I was like, you know what? I'll give it more of a chance. I just like the vibe. You know what I mean? It's fun. Anyways, he has a few songs with a bunch of different like Latin artists. So I've been loving listening to them as well. Finding new creators. So if you guys have any recommendations for me, please send them my way. Oh, and SZA is another huge artist that I've been listening to. And I'm trying to think of what else. I'm always going through different music phases. So, so hard to give like a direct answer. I also have not gotten a lash lift in a while. So my lashes are kind of just crazy right now. Okay, for mascara, I'm going to start off with the telescopic L'Oreal mascara. This was my go-to and then I've been just switching it like every other day. So we're gonna go back to the OG. I feel like this mascara really doesn't leave me with many clumps and it just makes your lashes really long. So I do love that about it. to let that dry for a minute and then I'm going to do another coat of mascara but this time we're going to use the better than sex mascara and as we're letting that dry we might as well start on lips I'm going to use this lip liner it's by MAC I don't even know the name of it I think it's sore I honestly use a different lip liner and lip product like every time I do my makeup which is a terrible decision because then I can never remember which ones are the actual good shades that I really love but we're gonna do this one really red i kind of love also a matte lip like just with lipstick we're gonna do this one this is by dior this is in the shade rose by dior addict i love all these dior ones i love the dior lip oils let's do another coat of mascara Somebody just asked me if I can do the Latina copy and paste makeup and honestly, Loki, why was that my makeup in high school? Basically, if you don't know what that makeup routine looks like, it basically is like very thick eyebrows and like fake lashes. They use a lot of like concealer and like really carve out their eyebrows and carve out their jaw and like, I just don't know. I don't know if that look would actually suit me at all. I'm gonna use a really thin brush and do kind of like a liner with an eyeshadow. It works better with an angled brush, but I haven't done this in a while and this used to be my go-to makeup look. Wait, this is definitely better with a actual brush. Someone else asked me when the first time I wore makeup was and I would say probably like middle school but I definitely didn't wear a lot. I started off by wearing just like a little bit of mascara or eyebrow gel but for some reason I felt kind of embarrassed about wearing makeup. I don't really know why. I think I like wasn't allowed or something. Guys, I'm so in a hurry now. I'm like almost late and also my camera is about to die so this is just an unfortunate mix. Okay, I feel like my lips need a stronger lip gloss but we're just gonna use that for now i'm gonna use this rare beauty highlight this is my favorite highlight but it's so basically empty and i'm gonna use a little bit of a darker shade just on my waterline to kind of darken the bottom Okay, slay. Should we take our hair out? I'm so nervous. So not really to my surprise, my camera died and here we are using my iPhone, but honestly, the quality kind of slays. I'm taking my hair rollers out, as you can see, and instead of just ripping them out, I kind of turn them into like a circular motion to get them out. And already you can see the curls are bouncy, they're cute. I posted this video on Instagram and I had a few comments being like, your hair isn't even curly, but this look is more of like a blowout look, not really tight Hollywood curls type of vibe. I personally really like it. It lasts a really long time as well. But again, as I said at the beginning, it's a trial and error type of thing. You just have to see what works and what doesn't for you. But yeah, I really love the way it turned out. Okay, 
I'm finally ready. I like don't even have time to give a better showing. This is what the dress looks like. It's got little buckles on the side here. I might have to tighten these to make them fit better, but it's got a little chain here. It's honestly really cute. It's a little bit big for me as I expected. Anyways, I have to go now. I will see you guys when I'm there. Yeah.